viscosity is characteristic of flowing liquid this is something related to thickness of the material we have seen water we have seen honey if i throw water on the ground it will go a far away distance but if i throw one glass of honey it will not go to that distance why the molecules which are trying to move the honey molecules which are trying to move are resisted by other molecules they push it back and does not allow it to move we say honey is more viscous so this is viscosity basically what does it do it applies force on the molecules which are moving force on the molecules which are moving only when they are moving this force is applied viscosity and because of that the velocity decrease this property is viscosity now to give it a quantitative shape we would like to define it that is first we have to understand velocity gradient what does that mean see here velocity gradient this is a solid surface on this surface the liquid is flowing and there are so many layers of the liquid this is layer 1 all the molecules here are flowing with certain velocity v1 this is another streamline and this streamline is flowing with a velocity which is more than v1 because these molecules are flowing with velocity v1 these are getting this velocity v1 just like on a moving train and because of the pressure here they have some additional velocities so these are moving this layer is slightly more than this this way this layer is here and this layer moves forward and its velocity is v1 plus v1 v2 the layer above it has got this velocity v2 as the floor velocity and above that due to the pressure it has certain more velocity like this in this way there are different planes which are moving with different velocities velocity v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 like that the velocity goes on increasing and this is surface at rest v0 so when we go up the velocity goes on increasing and here we take a measurement suppose we have gone to a particular height this height is l then with l height how much velocity has increased v1 to v3 this is the increase let us say this increase is delta v or simply v what is v this is v3 minus v1 if by going up by l length the velocity has increased with amount of v then going up by 1 unit how much will it increase v upon l this is increase in the velocity per unit height increase in the velocity per unit height if we go to the height 5 units the velocity will increase how much 5 into v upon l so v upon l is the increase in velocity per unit height and this is what we call velocity gradient v upon l what is v actually this v is difference of two velocities and this l is height okay remember it so this is our formula of velocity gradient 
This velocity gradient depends upon viscosity. If these molecules, this molecule, this molecule has a lot of force of attraction, then this will not allow it to move further. The velocity gradient will become less. And if they do not have intermolecular force large, then it will allow it to move. The velocity gradient will be very large. So in this way, the viscosity affects velocity gradient. It depends upon that. If velocity gradient is more, that means the force between the molecule is less. We say viscosity is less. More viscosity, more is the break applied. So this will be less. So viscosity is inversely proportional to V upon L gradient. Now, we study how much pressure we apply here pressure. So when we apply pressure here, the velocity increase. More is the pressure, more is the velocity and more is the velocity gradient. And this can be written as force upon area pressure. This is proportionate to velocity gradient. If velocity gradient is large, that means the force applied is large, this relation. Now, we make it a relation of equality and this is F upon A is equal to a constant V upon L. What is this constant? This constant we can find from this relation. This is eta. So, eta is equal to F upon A divided by V upon L. Force, this is stress stress given to the fluid and this is strain how much it has changed its position that is strain so this is stress upon strain and this gives this coefficient so this coefficient is known as coefficient of viscosity now can we define this what is meaning of coefficient of viscosity Answer is yes. See, if, if V upon L, that is velocity gradient is equal to 1, what should be its unit? Wonderful. V velocity, meter per second, this is meter. So, meter per second upon meter will give only per second. Please remember, what is the unit of velocity gradient per second? This is very important. Sometimes it is asked in the examination. Okay. So, dimensions T minus 1. Again, this 1 means what? Go to the height of 1 meter and the velocity has increased by 1 meter per second. That is velocity gradient of 1. Again, go to the height of 1 meter. There is a difference in velocity. How much is the difference? 1 meter per second is the difference then we will say velocity gradient is equal to 1. Now, if there is a liquid which is flowing with a velocity gradient of 1, we can put 1 here. Okay, then what is eta is equal to F upon A, that is pressure. So, coefficient of viscosity of a liquid is equal to the pressure required which will create a velocity gradient of 1 per second. That is 1 meter per second per meter. That is 1 per second. This numerically, this is equal to the pressure required. What is pressure? Force per unit area. So viscosity coefficient is force per unit area of the liquid which will create this much. So please remember this one. Uh, can we make the unit of this? This is per second. This is Newton per meter. So coefficient of viscosity unit. This is Newton per meter square per, this is per second. So when it goes up, Newton per meter square this is per second. When it goes up, it becomes second. So this is Newton second 
per meter square. It's a very strange unit. But this is complicated, so we don't use it. We derived this unit and gave it a new name, Poissole. So, or in brief, we call it Poiss. So, the uh, coefficient of viscosity is measured in Poiss. Poissole. What happens due to viscosity? Due to viscosity, the potential gradient is decided, uh, sorry, velocity gradient is decided and it is opposite, reverse to, inverse to velocity gradient. In water, more is the velocity gradient, it goes away. So, viscosity is less. In honey, less is the velocity gradient. So, more is the viscosity, it is more viscous, this is viscosity. Now, with reference to this viscosity, we have another law known as Stokes law. So, that Stokes law in viscosity, we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.